Good morning, Vipers. These are your Viper updates for the second week of semester two, the week of January 10th to January 14th. Just a reminder that a week from Monday on January 17th, uh, Verado High School will not have classes and the building will be closed in observance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Winter sports teams may be having practice on that day, so uh, athletes, make sure that you communicate with your coaches so you see what the schedule is. But otherwise, no school, no classes, and the building is closed on Monday, January 17th. Parking updates. Remember, you can get a parking pass in the bookstore. And please do not park in the surrounding neighborhood and areas as vehicles may be towed. Viper Showcase is coming up. So this is our future freshman uh, evening and, and event. Uh, it'll take place on January 19th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. It'll begin in the main gym. We will have food trucks, school tours, and an opportunity for incoming ninth graders to meet our coaches and our club sponsors. This is typically an event where some of our current students help out with it. So parents, just to put this on your radar, Viper Showcase, January 19th, 5.30 to 7.30 at the main gym, Ferrado High School. Senior info, we're in the second semester, so seniors, you're in your final weeks of your high school career. Just a reminder that these are the upcoming senior events, with the big one being on May 21st at 7 p.m. at State Farm Stadium, graduation. And as these next weeks unfold, we'll get more information as to what that ceremony will look like, how many people will be allowed to attend, and what the uh, all the all the other info going along with graduation. So seniors, stay tuned in these final weeks of your high school career. If you still need a cap and gown, seniors, you can use this link to access a cap and gown. Reminder that Jostens has a number of packages that you can purchase to celebrate your senior year, but you only do need a cap and gown for graduation. On to athletics. Our winter sports teams are off to a great start with all teams uh, being highly competitive and having some great success so far. So girls uh, soccer this week, they have two matches, one on Wednesday against Apollo. I believe that is teacher appreciation night. And then uh, the ladies will travel to Camelback High School on Friday the 14th. Boys soccer is the flip of that schedule. On Tuesday the 12th, they will take, I'm sorry, on Wednesday the 12th, they will take on Apollo High School at Apollo. And then they travel to Camel, or I'm sorry, start over. January 12th, away, Apollo High School. January 13th, Thursday, they play at home to Camelback High School. Wrestling has a big week this week. On Wednesday, the boys and girls will have a multi-media event at Verado High School. They will also recognize seniors at this time. And then Friday and Saturday, starting all day, this is the annual Viper Wrestling Invitational Tournament. For boys and girls, we'll have about 20-plus teams on campus. So big-time wrestling taking place this week. Good luck to our boys and girls wrestlers. Girls basketball has two games this week, both at home on the 10th Monday, they'll take on La Jolla High School, 4 and 5.30 p.m. And then on Thursday, the 13th, they'll play at home against Agua Fria High School. Our boys are on the road this week. On Monday the 10th, they're at La Jolla High School. And then on Thursday the 13th, they are at Agua Fria High School. Cheer and Palm both had state qualifier competitions over this past weekend. I don't have the results just yet, but I know our ladies competed well and, and worked hard. So proud of both the Cheer and Palm team. And when we get the, the results, we'll send them out next week. On to events. Reminder that site council has been moved to February 7th at 5.30 p.m. As of right now, we're tentatively planning for an in-person meeting during that time. If events change or if information changes, we will communicate that through these updates. STEMCon is coming. The district STEM uh, competition that takes place each year is coming up in February. Please use this link right here to get more information. It's an opportunity for students to win scholarships and prizes through their uh, whether it's doing research, whether it's competing in, in events, but it's a STEM con's always a fun, uh, fun event. So if you want more information, please click on that link. Esports have come in to Verado High School. We'll be starting an esports team this semester. Uh, Mr. Donzi, our uh, coding and engineering two teacher, is going to be the the coach. So if you have questions, please reach out to Mr. Donzi. There is an informational flyer if you click on the link here. It's also attached in the the update links. Um, but we will be having uh, 
students compete in the following games this year uh, it, for our esports competitions Rocket League, League of Legends, Splatoon 2, Super Smash Brothers, and Mario Kart. Esports is an AIA sanctioned um, activity. So good luck to all of our boys and girls that want to try out for the esports team. And contact Mr. Donzi if you have any questions. Over the weekend, the AFU HSD Honor Band uh, took place, and students from across the district worked together to form one ensemble conducted by Brian Murphy, the orchestral director at Mesa Community College. Congrats to the following Verado High School students for being selected to this prestigious event. Rowan Neumeyer, Alexia Schweitzer, Joey Seymour, Grayson Hillard, David Sobampo, Connor Clark, Sophia Copriva, Kylie Lingenfelter, Ariana Morrison, Bowden Noel, Isaac Nunez, Colton Panatin, Jessica Peterson, Tim Schaus, Diego Valenzuela, and Sierra Vandeman. Congrats to our outstanding Viper Vanguard members who are selected for this prestigious award. Course selection for next year begins. We did our current ninth graders prior to winter break. 10th and 11th graders will begin getting that process going, I believe, as soon as next week. So talk to your counselors, and uh, we will be going and sitting individually with students in their English classes throughout these next few weeks. So parents, if you have questions about upcoming course information, uh, talk to your students and talk to your student's counselor. The assessment updates, just a reminder, we put this out over break and in the last update, but the reassessment policy has changed for every class in the building. Once an assessment has been scored and given back to students, students have two weeks after that assessment has been reviewed or received in order to do a, a retake opportunity. The retake would serve as the final grade, and if it improves the grade, it'll go through and, and uh, be recorded as well. Um, but the, 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 the newest submission of the assignment is the one that will go into the grade book. Students will work with their teachers on what they need to do in order to prepare for that reassessment opportunity. If a student turns in the assignment late, they do forfeit their reassessment opportunity. So we'll work with students, but make sure they turn in assignments on time. And then once they get that back, if they want to reassess, they have two weeks in order to do so. And they get only one attempt in order to do it. Uh, our quarantine protocols for COVID have been updated this week. Our district office sent something out on Thursday morning. It is linked and attached here. So if you have any questions, please take a moment to review it and please reach out to us if you have questions. So that's it for, for now. If you have questions regarding grades or anything taking place in the class, please reach out to your student's teacher and please make sure you contact the, the attendance line if your student's going to be absent. But otherwise, that's it for this week. Let's make it a great week, Vipers. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected. And let us know if you need anything. One Verado.